This is lab number 11, Half-Life. We've got a Geiger counter here and a Geiger-Miller tube that provides the data. We're going to take a cesium barium mini generator. Cesium has a half-life of about 30 years, decays into barium, but the barium half-life is it decays by gamma rays into unexcited barium is fairly short. And this lab is going to measure that. But first, we have to make a background count measurement. First background count measurement is 27. Let's reset that to another background count. Let's see what's coming from the ground, from the atmosphere. We have to subtract that away from what our actual solution of barium is going to give to us. Take a 30 second count, which is the same count we'll use when we're actually making the measurements of the decay of barium. Make five of those measurements. Counter set to 960 volts, which is the appropriate voltage for our Geiger Miller tube. Making 30 second measurements. There we go, 25. Now, we get that recorded, and we'll go on to eluting the barium out of our mini generator. That's the yellow thing back there. At the cesium and the barium in the solution, a hydrochloric acid salt solution. We're going to drip this eluting solution. It dissolves the barium and deposits it in the little glass container there. We shift it very, very quickly into the Geiger counter and begin making measurements. See it dripping through there now. Okay, very quickly now. Take it off, put it on the tray, shift the tray inside, drop the stopwatch and the guide counter at the same time. Look, oh, look at that. It's really racing along now. This is a very short half-life, so it should decay fairly quickly. It's a lot of counts right in the beginning. A lot more than the 37 or so we had before. Once it gets to 30 seconds, we don't stop the stopwatch. We'll take the count, record it, reset the timer, and we'll go again at one minute. Okay, 5,090. All right, we're gonna reset the counter, but not the stop, touch the stopwatch. <laughs> And we wait till we get to the one minute mark on the stopwatch and we'll count again. We're going to expect to see a smaller number. How much smaller will it be? We're going to record all these values of the, uh, the counts. We'll then plot them on a graph and we'll find out what the half-life of barium is. We'll give you all the data to be able to do these calculations. Still zipping along quite quickly. But it will guaranteed be less than 5,090. Three thousand nine hundred and twenty-one. Gonna reset the timer. Wait now for the two minute mark. So why don't you guess? What do you think the next one's gonna be? How much smaller than it will it be than that last count, which was 3,921? Will it be 2,000, 2,500? What do you think? We have to be patient and wait. The nice thing about half-life is you cannot change the, the uh, half-life of an element by putting it under pressure, by heating it up, by dissolving it in something else. Half-life is what it's going to be. There's no way to alter that. So we're, we're confident we'll get the right values we're going to need to get in this lab. Three thousand and one. Not quite half what it was in the beginning. We're going to wait till the mark comes up again. 
exactly at three minutes. Anxiously awaiting the time. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now, fortunate for us, the half-life is so short that after about 30 minutes or so, there's virtually nothing left. This is gamma radiation we're measuring as the barium nucleus starts an excited state and goes to a more stable state, this time 2,345. We'll gather 12 of data all together and give them all the data to you to do, the, do your analysis. It's still zipping along, but uh, not as rapidly as it was in the beginning. I'll bet you're excited about what the half-life is. <laughs> the math the graph will tell you. Eighteen oh one. So we're much less than half of what it was in the beginning now. Fourteen thirty-seven. That's our sixth data point. One, 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 five. Now we're down to about a, about a fifth of what it was in the beginning. Eight hundred and seventy seven.
Coming up to the eight minute mark. Six hundred and ninety. Remember, our background count was back in the 20s and the 30s. So all except for that is, is coming from this uh, is barium decay, 527. Four hundred and eighteen and one more to go. It's not counting nearly as fast as it was in the beginning. Of course, we expected that. Three hundred and twenty-eight for our final reading.